Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this Corsair Hydro Series H40 closed loop liquid CPU cooler. The Hydro Series has a range of uh, SKUs associated with it. So we have H40, it goes all the way up to H100. Uh, so there's a whole range available. H40 is meant to be more of an entry level cooler for those folks who might be getting into liquid CPU cooling for the first time. So let's start off with some compatibility information. Right down here we have Intel LGA 775, 1155, 1156, and 1366 compatibility. Please note, no compatibility as of now with the 2011 socket for this cooler, but uh, check out the other options in the Hydro Series lines if you do have one of Intel's newer sockets. For AMD sockets, we have compatibi compatibility with AM2, AM3, and FM1. And of course, AM2 and AM3 means it will also be compatible with AM2 Plus or AM3 Plus sockets. Uh, there is some additional information on the box, such as dimensions and whatnot. Uh, we'll start off with the, actually that's the wrong language. Let me flip to the other side where it has English. This is a multilingual package, so if English is not your first language, it should accommodate you. Uh, we have radiator, radiator dimensions, which is 150 millimeters by 120 millimeters by 25 millimeters. So that's the thickness, which is very important for a liquid cooling radiator. Uh, it's a 120 millimeter fan that's included with a max fan speed of 2,000 RPMs, plus or minus 10%. Uh, you get 81.32 cubic feet per minute of airflow, uh, 27 decibel A-rated uh, noise level for that fan and a static pressure of 3.39 millimeters. And now for a quick unboxing, but first off since we're right here I should point out this does come with a two-year manufacturer warranty from Corsair. Very nice to have. Some documentation in the box. We have some uh, other Corsair products that you might be interested in. We have Corsair standard stop. Do not return this product to the store. Do not return to Newegg. Contact Corsair. They would like to work directly with you if you have any questions or uh, difficulties using their products. Here's your Corsair Hydro, H Hydro Series H40 CPU cooler manual, which folds out just like this. It is black and white, but it contains detailed instructions with diagrams just like that, telling you how to install it, so you can be sure to install it properly and get the best cooling possible. And finally, here's the H40 itself. There's the radiator and water block and closed loop liquid loop, however that should be described. Here's your included 120 millimeter fan. It's got the uh, standard three pin fan connector right there, Corsair logo. And then here's all your mounting hardware. Let me get this sorted out and we'll go over each item in detail. So here is a look at the mounting hardware that's included with the H40. Uh, for starters, these are your uh, back plates and top plates here for your brackets. These are your AMD solutions for AM2 or AM3 or FM1 sockets. AMD, bless their hearts, has not had much change with their mounting sockets for a while, so you just need these two pieces. Over here are the brackets for Intel solutions, and uh, for mounting procedures, it's pretty similar with either of these, but you're going to start off with the back plate. You will use these adhesive strips on the back plate, and you can use it to, that to secure that <coughs> to the back of your motherboard uh, for easier installation. These little plugs here fit into the back plate itself, drop into place. So you choose uh, whichever socket you're using and put those in. The top plate then goes on top of your motherboard like that. And uh, based on what socket you're using, you will use these little inserts. If you're going with an Intel solution, I have it backwards, and they drop and snap into place just like that. That should then line up with the uh, socket that you've chosen here on the back plate. You use these screws to mount that on and then uh, pretty much you have a secure mounting point here for the cooler itself. Uh, along with this mounting hardware, you also get a ex three-pin extension here, so uh, you do need two three-pin connectors on your motherboard to plug in the uh, pump as well as your 120 millimeter fan, so it'll give you a bit, a bit of extra cable length if necessary. Finally, of course, you got the aforementioned 120 millimeter fan, then you get some long screws that you can use to mount that fan to the radiator itself. Corsair is recommending that you uh, install the radiator with the fan positioned as an intake so it pulls cool air from outside your case and pushes it across the surface of the radiator. And finally here is a closer look at the H40 radiator and cooling loop itself. There's the radiator. Again it is 150 millimeters wide, 120 millimeters tall this way, and 25 millimeters thick. Uh, and 
you will need to make sure that you have enough room in your case to mount that without obstructing any of your other hardware. Now, again, this is the H40, which is the uh, intro uh, SKU in the line of Corsair Hydro Series closed loop CPU water cooler. So there's a few differences between this one and the rest of the line. For instance, the tubing on this one is rubber as opposed to the FEP tubing that's used in the rest of the line. Another difference here <coughs> is in the actual CPU cold plate, which is currently protected by this piece of plastic. So there's a cold plate there. It is an aluminum plate as opposed to the copper that's used in the uh, higher up versions on this line, but still an effective means of cooling. Uh, there's the other three pin connector that you will need to plug into your motherboard in order to power this pump in the water block here. Uh, and then, oh, I should mention that the cold plate here does have some thermal paste pre-applied. That's what that gray bit is there in the middle. Then you have this retention bracket. So once that is mounted to the motherboard, as uh, I showed you a little bit earlier in my brief how to install tutorial, uh, the, you simply mount that into onto the retention bracket, you twist it, it locks into place, and then you secure the four screws around the side to keep that secure to your motherboard. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Corsair Hydro Series H40 Closed Loop Liquid CPU Cooler. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please check out our Newegg YouTube channel where you can find more tech videos just like this one. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time.